Okay, people. I'm gonna give you a um, tutorial how to make a Ventrilo server for free, but which only has eight slots. Okay, I'm gonna start. You're gonna start by going to your internet, which is normally Firefox. If you use Firefox, you gotta go there. Now, you're going to go to ventrilo.com, okay? The site where you got ventrilo from. It's loading. There we go. Ventrilo.com, you see? Okay. Give my computer a second. Two seconds, actually. Okay, you're going to go to download right there. Scroll down. You'll see servers, right? Click Windows i386 32-bit version 2.3.1. You download that, which I already have. So if when you download it, it's minimize your Ventrilo. You would have it in start after you uh, download it. Give it a second, my computer's really bad, sorry. <sighs> okay. Now you're going to go to um where is it? Here, vent serve. V E N T S R V. Now you're going to click Ventrilo Server. Whoops. Ventrilo server, right here. It's come up, it's gonna come up in this DOS command prompt. See? It's in DOS. It'll say all your uh all your um stats and stuff right here. And you're gonna see your IP I two IPs right here. You're gonna copy that first one right there. You see that? And then your port will be by default three seven eight four. Here we go. So I already have my ventrilo set up. You see here? Hostname or IP, just copy it down from here. Six eight whatever yours says right there. Don't copy mine. Then the number the by default the port number three seven eight four. See? Three seven eight four. You do that. And ta da you've got your own server. But be warned, you can only hold eight slots. Now, if you want to have a password, you've got to the password to log in for the admin. You're going to have to look for the. Hold on, I'll show you. You go invent serve right again, again. And you'll see edit any file, ini file. It'll say admin password. My password for the admin's not leaked. But I'm gonna change it now since I just hosted it all on YouTube. Admin password right there. Put anything you want. And when you've done that, you type in this. Just go to server admin, log in, type in the password you set up there, and voila, you're admin. See that? You can move people, you can kick, whatever. And that's all I have to tell you folks today. Thanks.